Alrighty, now that's what I like to see. We got some beautiful weather here in Richmond, Virginia today. So you know what that's gonna call for? A good old vlog. Let's get right into this. All right, where's that leaf I started at? Oh, there it is, right here. Boom, right foot there, ready to rock and roll. What is going on everyone? Derek here today bringing you another vlog. Now before we go into this video, a little disclaimer, you can probably still hear it and <clears throat> yeah, definitely can hear it. As you guys know, I've been sick for the past three to four days and I actually went to the doctors to, you know, get some medications. They honestly sat there and told me they have no idea what's wrong with me. I don't know, just had this horrible cough, ears hurt and you know how that goes. So the disclaimer is if I have a lot of voice cracks, you cannot call me out on it because I know it's going to happen in this video. Hashtag sick life. But anyways guys, as I said, we have beautiful weather here in Richmond, Virginia today and you know, I'm definitely going to take advantage of this. I got the car and you know, honestly, she's not that dirty so I don't think a wash is really necessary today and I know you guys saw the thumbnail on the title of this video um, I'm gonna get more into that in here in just a moment it's nothing serious nothing's like horribly happened or anything like that but you know it is kind of like a little bummer and like I said I'm gonna explain that to you guys in just a little bit but I am super excited for one specific thing and that one thing is can rock the hater blockers today boys that's right big fat hashtag hater blockers but yes everyone I do plan on heading to the Miranda's to see what's up go hang out probably tinker with the cars a little bit so without further ado let's get this cold start <laughs> Jump right on in. I forgot, I gotta take you guys with me. Alright, this time I'm for real. Better watch out. I don't think they're aware I'm in a Mustang. I will hit them. Really quick guys, what I am gonna do, I'm gonna head to the gas station and get something to drink because my throat is super dry. So with that, I got a little throwback for you. Here we go. And just like that, everyone, we are back on the GoPro. It's been a while. And you know, I must admit, if there's one thing I do miss, you know, like during this whole entire winter, is jumping on the GoPro while driving. Like, it, it's just been so long. So, you know, I think a little rev match and, you know, a little pull is just very necessary right now. It does need a lot more power. And that's something we're gonna touch a little bit in today's video. You know, matter of fact, we can actually talk about it right now. So many of you guys obviously know that the first thing I really did to this car, besides the first motor swap, that was just to get the car back running. But the first thing I did was suspension. I obviously put on an airlift 3P management with the bags and all that jazz, the whole nine yards with that. Because you know, I'm gonna be honest with you, I just don't wanna go fast slash didn't wanna go fast. So you know, at that point, I felt like, you know, I just wanted to go for looks. So that's exactly why I put bags on first. Now going on after that, we obviously did some you know miscellaneous modifications and all that jazz but you know the next big project we got done you know almost completely done was the whole entire black interior swap so for those of you that are new to the channel and didn't know I bought a second parts car and you can click the link right up here or it's right up there one of those I always get it confused take it right to that video you know from there you can kind of work your way up the video chain until we're here now but yes we did the full entire black interior swap everything is good to go obviously these seats are going and you know that's what we're gonna be talking about today main topic in today's video but yes you know the third thing on the list now I have the car looking good the interior is feeling great and you know the next thing is definitely gonna be power so you know I have spoke of a coyote swap I have thought about a terminator swap and I have really really thought about a fully built two valve with a blower so you know those are the three avenues that I'm really considering and you know I don't know I just can't make my mind up because I want my money's worth for those of you out there that just know the slight bit about cars a coyote swap done correctly is gonna be very very expensive and you know after spending all that money at the end of the day you're only pushing like 400 rear wheel horsepower so is it really worth it? And don't get me wrong, it's a great platform to build off of. You put a Coyote Swap with a blower, you're gonna be pushing mad power. But you know, that's also mad money, so it goes hand in hand. Now the second thing is, is a Terminator Swap, and I can get a full, you know, whole entire pallet, turn the key, start right up for about 10 grand. And you know, with a different blower, proper tune, and a pulley, you're pushing well over 600 for almost half the cost of a Coyote Swap, so that's another factor. And you know, last but not least, a fully built two valve. Now in my opinion, that would be the absolute most badass thing, you know, having this fully built two valve. I'm talking from the rods, pistons, heads you know with a freaking pro charger on it that thing would be screaming and you know we'd be hurting some coyote owners feelings and not to mention it would cost nowhere near a coyote swap or terminator swap so you know 
I don't know, but you know, I am definitely gonna keep my options open, and at the end of the day, I am nowhere near rich or nowhere near super wealthy, so that is definitely a huge fact. I don't have mom and dad buying me all the shit I want. I literally work for everything I want for this car. And you know, a Coyote Swap, while investing my money in other um, sources of income, like such as the DBP brand, it's definitely gonna be hard, but you know, it's definitely doable. But you know, we can go ahead and touch that subject another day when it comes, you know, time to start spending the money to get this thing built. Anyways, real quick, guys, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I didn't realize, you know, like vlogging would really jack up my throat even more than what it is. So like I said, I'm heading to Joel's house. I'm almost there, and I'm gonna pick it right back up on the Canon G7X, so see you guys in just a bit. Pulling up to Joel's now, and look at this. It looks like we have Brandon washing his car. What's up, fool? You finally washed that thing? Yeah. It's about time. All right, I was just stopping by to see what's up. I'm, I'm leaving. Later. Just kidding, guys. Obviously, I'm not, but I'm just going to go ahead and park, and let's go see what everybody's up to. Let's see what Brandon has going on over here. Oh, and really quick, guys. I did not forget about what we discussed in the last video with Brandon because, you know, we did say if he got 650 likes on that video that he would buy an off-road X or an H-pipe, and, you know, you guys surpassed that like nothing. We have over a 1,000 so easily, so let's go talk to him about this. What's going on, fool? What's up, Hayes? How's it going? Doing good. So you're getting the car all washed up, I see, huh? Looks really good, dude. I know the weather's been amazing. So really quick, you gotta take a little pause on this. We gotta talk about something, okay? We gotta talk right. about a little something. All right, so the last video we made, it obviously featured you and, you know, Shadow. And what did we mention in that video? That if we got 650 likes, we'd buy an off-road H or X pipe. That's right. So have you decided on which one you're gonna do? Not yet. Are we gonna do it today? Maybe. Maybe, really? Just do it. Just full send, eh? Full send. Money. I've been telling him I think he should get the off-road H-pipe just because it definitely gives it a little more of a deep rumble. And you know, for myself, I've actually been thinking about switching to an off-road H-pipe as well because, you know, the X-pipe, it does sound good. It's a little too raspy for my taste. But again, I can't really complain because it does make it sound so much better. But with the off-road H-pipe, it sounds more of like loud two-valve. If you guys don't know exactly what that sounds like, I'm gonna play a clip right here. my buddy Andrew Peachy so if you guys haven't watched that video like go back to where it started that little clip and there's a card right at the top and I'll take it right to it but make sure you guys go follow him on Instagram as well at loud two valve and make sure you guys go follow Brandon um, shadow two valve so go hook them up hey look the wheels are actually black now yeah they are black all right man well I'm gonna run inside blue I'm heading inside okay no you can't come in no blue you gotta stay out here you're a car I'm have had it shut up love you too Hey, I don't want to hear no back talk either, Shadow. Hello, hello. What's going on? What's up? Tired? Peace. Yeah, hey, I'm just going to record you this whole time. Okay. You can go to sleep if you want. Okay, I will. <laughs> Last time Pam was in a video, she was in the same spot. Legend says she hasn't moved since. All right, so Brandon is the little... Oh, shit. As I was saying, Brandon is the little peasant. So he is forced to wash his mom's car. It's kind of funny, but, you know. Is that a V6? Sounds like it. Boom. Two bad lives matter. All right, Brandon, get this car washed now. Oh, you have to love the sound of that 5.0. I know many people hate on it, but I don't see why. They sound absolutely amazing. Damn. And for those of you wondering, this is Pam's, Brandon's mom's 5.0. Go hook up Pam on Instagram. Very nice looking car, very nice. All right, so we will be right back. We'll let him wash the car, see him just a bit. Wow, it took a little bit. So Brandon just finished up Pam's car back there, and now Brandon has to do some branding on his car. What you got? We got some Shadows two valve stickers. You got, you got your new ones at least. So these are the little, you know, back windows. Those are gonna right there. This one goes right on the windshield. Right there. Boom! Shout out Mark Tate. Go hit the plug on Instagram at Tate's Decals. For those of you that order a DBP Squad decal, that's exactly who made them. And honestly, his prices are super cheap, so go follow him on Instagram if you need any decals. He'll hook you up. All right, everyone. So now that everything is done with the car washes and everything, we got to jump right onto the main topic of this video, and 
this sucks. So for those of you wondering, I did indeed finish my you know interior swap. There is a couple pieces left I need, such as like floor mats. I need to um, put my radio in. I gotta reapply the door sills, which is small stuff. But the biggest thing with the interior is gonna be your seats. Now for the seats, these are obviously the same old ones I had. As you can see, it has a bunch of rips. The cover headrests are nice though, but other than that. They're pile of shit. Now, I will say, I did indeed go with the Braum Racing seats, but there's one thing that sucks the most. Now, my initial plan after I got done with this whole entire interior swap, I was gonna make a before and after video. I literally took clips, um, a ton of videos of the before, and then, you know, I was gonna get my seats and make an after and merge it all into one video. But the problem with this is, is that during Black Friday, Braum had sold out and they are on back order. So what this means is I've already purchased my seats, but they got back to me and they're like, look, the seats you got, you know, unfortunately we don't have in stock and we actually get them in stock tomorrow, but there's a back order and everybody else is waiting for their seats as well. Now the horrible news with this is I will receive my seats February 20th or the 22nd. So that's a full entire month I have to wait. But you know, I'm not complaining at all because Brom did hook me up and Brom really looked out for me, but it's unfortunate because you know, a month from now, you guys aren't going to really want to see that interior video. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still going to make it, but like I said, a full month I have to wait. And I'm not bashing Brahm or anything, I totally understand, you know, people paid money to get those seats before me, and you know, first come, first serve, that's usually how everything in this world works. But you know, since we do have to wait a full entire month, what I'd like to do is give you guys a full in-depth look of, you know, the whole interior swap, because in the last video I kind of blurted out just so I wasn't rude and surprised. But you know, I'm not going to have you guys wait a full entire month, because half of you will forget about it, and you know, we'll be making videos until then, and you know, it's just going to become irrelevant at that time. So, here it is, take a look. So go Going into the car, as you can see, we're gonna sit down and we got the black steering wheel along with the black dash. Don't mind this, like I said, I need to get my touchscreen radio soon. But I did indeed stay with the blue shift knob. We got the um, 01 through 04 center console, which is very nice because it does have the cup holders. And I don't know if you guys seen the 99 and 2000, they're absolutely god awful. We actually had to relocate the fog light switch because you see all these buttons right here are actually not active. Because when we did the interior swap, we literally took off the black skin off the 03 dash and put it on the initial 99 dash. So that's why that's like. That. But yeah, looking at the door panels, everything fit really nice. I'm, you know, really excited about it. Definitely has a better look than the gray and black, in my opinion. But you move to the back, I am keeping the back seats because the new seats I have are actually pretty similar in pattern, so I won't have to delete the seats in the rear. We got the black headliner up here, and I did get a little upgrade. Check that out. Got a little, you know, pouch up there. It's pretty sweet. But yeah, other than that, everyone, that's pretty much a swap. Like I said, I just got to put some door sills on. I got to clean up the car. Got some floor mats coming in soon. The radio, and finally the seats. And with that, you know, the interior will be completely done and it's and from there it's moving on to the motor um like i was telling you guys on the way here there's a lot of options i have but you know that's there is no more bullshitting around i have to get some power into this car and but yeah everyone that's where i stand um it's pretty unfortunate news but like i said i'm very 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 grateful for you know the deal me and brahm have and you know i'm looking forward to it the weight will definitely be worth it and overall honestly i'm super excited the car's you know transformation has definitely come along really nicely i mean look at that she's bad she's bad but yes everyone this is how she looks you know when she's actually pretty dirty i know it might not look like it but yeah she's very very dirty that's the news everyone a full entire month we have to wait but you know after that i will release that video and for those of you interested it'll be there for your pleasure so yeah anyways i have to take a second you can hear my voice it's going in and out again just give me a little bit to recuperate be right back ah right, brando we'll see you later give her one more cold start real quick no you guys can't see this but yeah, yeah. all right i got you fam i'm gonna back you up so as you guys can see it's dark out which sucks, but you know, I'm gonna make it home and then we'll pick this vlog right back up. All right, everyone, so I lied. Kind of picked up the lady here and we are gonna go get some food. We're gonna go get some cookout and yeah, from there, I'm not too sure exactly what's going on. Maybe we'll go to Lowe's because I do have to buy something in particular and that's gonna be another video. Lowe's date, Lowe's date, Lowe's date. Lowe's date, what girl <laughs> says that? Oh, and really quick, if many of you guys were wondering exactly what I'm doing for like music, um, you know, the struggle is indeed real. I have my phone and you know, I put it on Pandora. I have been super blessed with this little kangaroo pouch up here. So, you know, we get that playing. And have the speaker to my ear because you know we got some music. Oh, 
So we just got back from cookout. We just got done eating and you know obviously it's getting late and we got Ray over here working on her edit. She did some filming today with her friend. It's a modeling shoots. And you know I think it's about that time I'm gonna wrap up today's video. Honestly guys the news wasn't but so bad today. It's just unfortunate because I don't really want to keep you guys waiting for a full month to you know do the whole review of the before and after for my interior which you know kind of bummed me out full month but you know like I said Brahm is taking care of me and you know we're in a partnership now. So it is what it is. February 22nd I believe I'll have them and yeah like I said for those of you that are still interested in watching the video I will post it I will edit it I will do just normal redo blue but yes everyone I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for your time and watching and remember guys if you enjoyed today's video be sure to drop a like drop a comment with any questions and concerns if you want to say what's up that's cool too and today's DBP vlog shout out is going out to white loud 2v go check him on Instagram and I must say I love the panda color scheme you got on there roll it panda, 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 panda. I got broads in the If any of you guys want a chance to win a shout out on the vlogs, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Derek Brand Productions and use the hashtag DBP Squad in all your posts. I don't know how many times I have to say this. But every time I go and edit a video, I go to the hashtag, I find a winner and find someone to shout out, and boom, there you go, win a shout out. And remember, guys, like I said in the last video, we are just weeks away from the first launch of DBP Squad merch. So I'm looking forward to it, and there's a link in the description. It'll send you right to the email listing. Be sure to sign up for the email listing if you guys want any sort of chance to get some product. Because honestly, I have a great feeling this is gonna sell quick. So make sure you sign up for the email listing. And while you're at it, go follow the shop on Instagram. But anyways, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. And, you know, before we wrap up this vlog, there's two people. Or, you know, an animal and a person that want to say goodbye. You want to say hi? Give them kisses. And for those of you that didn't know, Ray and I adopted this little guy. He was an abused hunting dog. Now he's family. So he's becoming such a good dog. And, you know, he's just very gentle and loving. I mean, he'll fight me. Like, watch. Yeah, he thinks he's a pterodactyl or something. Look at him. <laughs> Yeah, see, he loves me. You gonna say bye? Bye. Okay, you can't eat that. Say bye. 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 And remember, I will see you guys Wednesday. But until next time, we'll see you later. Call that balling. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do?